Hello everyone, Rob from Phil Sports with Speed. So today I am looking at going for a little walk around with the little Push Power 410 in search of some squirrels, pigeons, crows, bit of everything, but mainly squirrels. There's been a lot of clear plantain. Oh, that pigeon, I could have had that. There's been a lot of uh, clear fowl and loads of new trees have been replanted. We've got to keep the squirrel numbers down. Um, the landowner wants me to do that and it's the end of the season now i am out with the little gun having a little walk around um literally got the gun pocket full of shells and my little bag and i'm going to see if i can get a few squirrels so let's go up there i don't know if you can see is a squirrel dray and they might be out it's nice and warm so they might be out and about and i might see a few uh main reason i haven't bought a dog is because there might be one running across the ground and because I'm by myself, it'll be safe to shoot as long as I'm in a safe area. Um, and I don't want the squirrels biting the dogs. So I'm going to maybe get under this, give it a shot and see if anything's in there. Nothing there. Well, that was a close opportunity, almost a crow there, but I got, I'm shooting the 410, so I've got to be a little bit realistic. Just come into this little area here. I'm just sort of stood about having a little look at the moment, just seeing if I can see any squirrels jumping from tree to tree or using the branches. There is a few drays. Oh, there's a deer. Nice robot. So I'll have a little walk through here, see if I can see any squirrels. Do you know what? It would have been a lot easier if I'd have bought the thermal, because I'd just be able to see them. Why didn't I bring that? Working hard here. So here's a useful tip for people who are looking at maybe doing a bit of roost shooting now that the season's over. Look at all the poo down here. There's loads of it on the ground. It might not be a bad spot to stand for a little roost shoot. Well, the first little area has been a bit of a fail, but that doesn't matter. Let's move on, get on to another spot. There's loads of drays here. To get like a low angle on them. So the idea of this, if no one knows, is to basically shoot the dray and if there's anything in it, it'll either kill it or it'll run out and jump about but it's quite good that they're not in there by the seams of it because that'll mean they're probably mooching around getting some natural feed out of the woodland. You can see trees been replanted and they've got to be protected so the squirrels will chew them, so will the deer. That's why the deer are gonna be controlled as well on this this estate. So let's have a walk through here, see if there's any squirrels mooching about. There's one. There he is, right, let's get after him. Where's he gone? I bet he's gone in there. Thought he was gonna run up a tree or something. That'd be just too easy, wouldn't it? Little bugger. Let's carry on going. Well, I'm seeing plenty of pigeons about which is good news for a roost later on. Um, but these squirrels, I literally can't find them anywhere. Normally when I come out, they are running left, right and centre. But today, they know I've got a camera with me, don't they? And they are not going to show up. Come out, come out, wherever you are. there. Didn't see them until they jumped across the tree. Yes. Got him. 
these little things are like ninjas. I just can't get on them. So bloody nifty and here, there and everywhere and hiding behind the ivy and everything like that. There we go. He's dead. There we go. Ooh, straight in the head as well. There we go. Right. Let's hope that's the start of something good. Now that is a proper mega squirrel tree that is. Got to be one in there. Down. Oh, I knew there'd be one in there. There he is. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that was pretty intense. Pretty intense. I thought there'd be one in there. I just forgot to pump and got a little bit flustered, but I'm dying. Well, no wonder. Right, it's time to go roosting. I'm a little bit early, but I don't think there's gonna be any harm in just scoping out what's going on, seeing where the poo is, where they've been roosting and having a, just getting set up in good time, basically. Let's face it, I'm not a naturally born squirrel hunter by the looks of it, um, but I am normally pretty good at a pigeon or crow. There's a nice wind on, so hopefully we might see one or two. Let's get in the wood and see what's happening. Oh God, I hate brambles so much. Just get off me. I really don't think there's a harder route I could have took there. Why didn't I just come down the actual path? What a moron. I was a bit late recording there, but there was quite a lot of pigeons. There was a group of about 50, maybe more, just got out from up ahead. So I'm going to go and have a look up here and see where they are. Here's one. I should really have my gun out, shouldn't I? <laughs> right, let's have a look up here. They've obviously got out. They're coming back in to try and get back in the same spot. So it's gotta be up here that I wanna be. There's quite a bit of poo um, on the floor around this area, which makes me think that they are roosting up here. So I'm gonna try and find a clear spot and start here. Right, it wouldn't be a field sports for speed video if there wasn't food involved. So today, my snack of the day is a bit of Colin the Caterpillar cake, which I have left for my birthday the other day. So I'm going to have a nibble on this. Oh, I just dropped half of it. Hmm. Colin, we do love Colin. Betsy Blazer is ready to go with a few of Hall 434, no, 432 fibre cartridges ready to blow some up if they come right i've had a little change of plan because the pigeons would and crows are just going everywhere there's not really like a a nice flight line i want to know i'm in the right spot so i basically come into this basically it's a fallen down tree out in the open and it's sort of like right under where most of them are flying and i've obviously got a really nice clear view 
to try and shoot them. So I'm just going to give it 10 minutes here, see if I can get one or two, but also just see where the main flight line is. Oh, what a beauty. Missed that. Well, that wasn't ideal. I literally just walked up to that pigeon I've just shot and it's bloody got up and flew off. Must try harder. Literally going everywhere. Rocky, come on down here, you little shit. Lovely. Slipping and sliding on every line possible, these are. Those crows out in front. Oh, no, it was way too much on that. Christ, look at that root plate. Mega. Alright, here's that pigeon. Look at that. Nice wood pigeon. God, that must have hit a tree or something. Just had a quick look in this pigeon's crop. Look at all that natural berry in there. Incredible. It's absolutely ram packed full. Oh, you fucking. Oh, I didn't pick a bird. Why didn't you pick a bird and go with it? Absolute amateur. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Oh, Well, that was a corker of a rook. It was, it is a rook, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I was, let's see, I've just picked that there. And I was over by the bush, so a nice 40 yarder. Well, I haven't got on great today. I've had a lot of whoopsies, not being able to move my feet, being in the wrong spot, etc., etc. But it is quite hard trying to do all these videos on your own, doing all the filming, pressing all the buttons, etc. <laughs> but I've had good fun. It's been a great trip out for me. It's just nice to be out with the gun over my arm. And I'm going to call it a night now. I've had a great time out. So thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.